You have to give out your own ticket. Come back to it. No, Sorry? you have to give out your own return Removing the rail will open up our city, it'll connect our harbour to our seabed, which is so essential in renewing Newcastle. At the moment you can see Hunter Street, it's pretty dead, it's pretty dreary. There's progress that's been made and there's been nearly a billion dollars worth of investment that has come on the back of the removal of the rail line. We can't put that at risk, we cannot risk making Newcastle the great city and the potential it has to become because a noisy minority thinks that this rail line is the end, the truncation of this rail line is the end of all efficient transport means. That simply isn't the case and Mike Baird has made that so loud and clear that the light rail, the bus network and the extension of the ferry network will actually provide an efficient and effective transport solution to the, the removal of the rail line. So you firmly believe we will see a light rail? Yes, I firmly believe that. The money's been allocated towards that and I think, yes, at the moment the plan is to go straight up Newcastle. Um, of Hunter Street I should say. I think we should see the potential for extension throughout the city because what would be better than having a connected city where people can come in can spend their money and can drive the economy. Oh, and the rail's been here all that time. Are you sure that the rail is the reason for the city's decline? If we look back 160 years when the rail was first put in, there was a huge uproar of the fact that it would divide the city. And it did just that. Ever since the rail line has been put in, we have seen a decline in the city. And we now see the last train coming in and Hopefully it will be the last and open up our city. Um, well, I just think it's a, a pretty high-handed of the government to go ahead with this um, closing of services now that uh, the court has ruled they can't, the Supreme Court has ruled they cannot remove the rail lines and yet they're still planning to go ahead tonight with closing off the services to this station and it, it is a disgrace. We will, we will continue the fight to, keep, to get back the um, services. We've, run, we've won the tracks, now we have to get the trains back on them. We shall overcome, we shall overcome. This is a really sad occasion. I mean, this train's been running into Newcastle for well over 100 years. I use it regularly. I use it to travel to work in Sydney. My partner uses it to travel to work in Sydney. I live in Newcastle East, and the government is denying my opportunity, my right to catch public transport that's safe, accessible, and also that people who are disabled can catch to Sydney. So I think it's an absolute disgrace and it's a very sad occasion tonight, this last train. Yeah, Glen Ryan. Glen Ryan. And where do you live, Glen? Uh, in Tamworth. Right. Yeah, travelled down to ride this last train out of Newcastle. And um, we're currently in the double deck power car 8106, which will be the uh, last car out of Newcastle last double deck carriage for the number crunches but probably more significant is the impeccable timing that the bad government's chosen to do this. You'd have to give them 10 out of 10 for the way they've done this in a clandestine manner to deflect any criticism. It's quite quite remarkable and quite an achievement in a very sad way. So I was on the last train out of Toronto to Fassifern and now I'm on the last train out of Newcastle. So, yeah. well, so and Do you live locally? Or? I live at Spears Point. Yeah. Spears Point. Do you use the train much oh, absolutely, yes. Well, not anymore, of course, but um, yeah, quite a lot, yeah.
you're just about to go on. This is where the new railway station will be, just down there. Yeah. This is railway street that they're about to close off. Yeah. And uh, yes, I would describe myself as a train enthusiast. Yes, definitely. Okay. So uh, the big problem is, is that what we're sitting in right now is at least 900% more efficient than a car, but nobody goes along and seems to take that into consideration. Next stop, Broadmeadow, the station's in Gosford. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for riding on the last train.